The first part of the grammar point for today is the word can, which expresses ability. We use can to talk about ability. How do we form the positive, negative and question form? Positive form is the same for all the subjects. I can swim. You can swim. He can swim. She can swim. It can swim. We can swim. They can swim. Nothing changes here. In the negative, what we do is just add not after can. I, you, he, she, it, we, they cannot swim. Or the short form will be can't swim. What about the question form? We put can in the beginning. Can I swim? Can you swim? Can she swim? Can he swim? Can we swim? Can they swim? The answer will be yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, he can. No, he can't. So it depends on the answer. Another way to ask more information, we can say what instrument can you play? Here we need uh, extra information, not just yes or no answer. I can play the guitar or I can play the piano. If we look at this picture, Dad is reading carefully. So how is Dad reading? Dad is reading carefully. It shows the way that he is reading. How is he reading? In a careful way or carefully. So, time to explain the adverbs now. We use adverbs to describe how you do something. Example, he reads carefully. She plays beautifully. If we ask the question in our mind, then we find that the answer is about how something is done, the way that something is done. She plays beautifully. How does she play? In which way does she play? She plays in a beautiful way or beautifully. We have regular and irregular adverbs. Regular adverbs are formed by using the adjective plus ly at the end. Examples. Slow, slowly. Easy, easily. Beautiful, beautifully. Irregular adverbs are good becomes well. Fast, fast, doesn't change, hard, hard, the same. He is a good singer, he sings well. We cannot say he sings good. He is a fast runner, he runs fast. It's hard work, she works hard. Here you can see that the first case of all the sentences are adjectives. The other one is adverb. He is a good singer. Good singer, good is adjective. He sings well. Here it becomes an adverb. When do we use the imperatives? Another part of the grammar for today. Use imperatives to give instructions and advice. For example, raise your hands. Don't play football for a month, the doctor may say. Hand in the homework now, the teacher can say. So these are imperatives. If we add please uh, while saying an imperative, uh, then it makes the sentence more polite. Please comes at the beginning or at the end of sentence. Watch out for animals, please. Or please, watch out for animals. 